This is a short presentation to discuss the group life insurance benefit in retirement for members of the police and firemen's retirement system. As with all the presentations in this retirement guide, this is meant to be a general overview. If you need more specific information, please visit our website or contact our office. You can find information about group life insurance on fact sheets number 13 and number 58. All members of police and fire had a non-contributory group life insurance benefit while they were actively working. That benefit was equal to three and a half times their final compensation. However, 31 days after their retirement date, that coverage ends. As long as you had at least 10 years of service credit, you will have a reduced group life insurance benefit during retirement. This is a paid up benefit. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not going to go up. It's not going to go down and has no cash value. Here is a chart showing the amount of group life insurance benefit that you will have in retirement. For most retirees from police and fire, the amount of the group life insurance benefit will be equal to one half of your final compensation. The only exception to that is for the disability retirement where if death occurs before age 55 it will be three and a half times the final compensation but at age 55 it drops down to one half. When you file your retirement application, you will have the opportunity to name beneficiaries for the group life insurance benefit. Please keep in mind that this benefit does not have to be left to a surviving spouse or partner. This can be left to anyone. And that you can make changes to this after retirement. Should you have a change in family status, you want to be sure that you make changes to this because, as I said, it does not automatically go to a surviving spouse or partner or child in the same way as a survivor benefit does. On the retirement application you'll be asked to name primary beneficiaries and contingent beneficiaries. Um, the primary beneficiary is the one who will receive this benefit upon your death. You can name more than one. They will split evenly unless you specify percentages. A contingent beneficiary will only receive benefits if all of the primary beneficiaries are also deceased. This can also be more than one person. At retirement, there is an option for members to convert their life insurance to a private policy with the Prudential. It's guaranteed conversion, which means you cannot be denied for any reason and they will not require you to take a physical. Because of that, it is very expensive. On our website, there is an insurance conversion calculator which can show you what the cost would be. The conversion option is, as they say, a, a limited time offer. You only have 31 days after your retirement date to exercise this conversion option. You can contact Prudential at the numbers listed below, or you can contact a local Prudential office. All of this information, including the policy numbers and phone numbers, can be found on fact sheet number 13. In order to give you an idea of the cost of insurance conversion, I ran an estimate using our online calculator. I took a PFRS member who was age 50 with a final compensation of $85,000. This would equal a paid up death benefit of $42,500 which they would automatically get. It would leave them eligible to convert up to $225,000. This is the difference between their active life insurance benefit and their paid up benefit in retirement. The cost to convert the entire amount would be $550.80 per month, month. However, you do not have to convert the entire amount. And remember, this is a guaranteed conversion. Typically, people who wind up using this are those who have serious or terminal illnesses and don't plan to be around for that long. Otherwise, it can be a very expensive benefit. And if you're retiring at the age 
a lot of police and fire members retire and you needed life insurance, you could probably qualify for life insurance outside of our system. In that case, you should contact a financial advisor or an insurance professional to see about those options. For more information about group life insurance, you can see fact sheet number 13 or 59 or visit our website or contact our office. Thank you.